this is Srinivasan, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE. In this presentation, we are going to discuss on parity generator and checker. The parity, parity generating technique is one of the most widely used error detecting techniques for the data transmission. In digital systems, when binary data is transmitted and processed, data may be subjected to noise so that such noise can alter zeros to ones and ones to zeros. Hence, a parity bit is added to the word containing data in order to make number of ones either even or odd. The message containing the data bits along with parity bit is transmitted from transmitter to the receiver. At the receiving end, the number of ones in the message is counted and if it does not match with the transmitted one, it means there is an error in the data. Thus, the parity bit is used to detect errors during the transmission of binary data. A parity generator is a combination circuit that generates the parity bit in the transmitter. On the other hand, a circuit that checks the parity in the receiver is called parity checker. A combined circuit or device of parity generators and parity checkers are commonly used in digital systems to detect the single bit error in the transmitted data. So parity generators are classified into two, hot parity generator and checker, even parity generator and checker. So first we will start with even parity generator and then we will move on to even parity checker. Let us assume a 3-bit message is to be transmitted with even parity bit. Let us consider the inputs to be A, B, C applied to the circuit and output bit is the parity bit P. The total number of ones must be even to generate the parity bit. So let us start with A, B, C. The first condition is A is 0, B is 0 and C is 0. If parity bit is 1, the number of ones in the 4 bit data will become odd in number which means it is an odd parity. So we need to make the parity bit as 0 such that the message includes 0 ones. Next we will go with 0, 0, 1. So in the data we have 1 and we are making the parity bit also 1. So the total number of ones in the transmitted data will be 2 which is an even parity. So if you proceed further, the, if the input is 1, 1, 1, which is nothing but 3 ones, along with even parity bit 1, it becomes 4 ones, which is an even number of ones. That concludes that the number of ones in the transmitted data is even in number. So if we go for a KMAP simplification of the parity bit, we obtain P is equal to A X R B X R C. So the logic circuit of even parity generator is as shown in figure. How to check on the other side? So we have a circuit called even parity checker at the receiving end to check whether the transmitted data is of even parity. Consider the T input messages along with the even parity bit generated at the transmitting end. These four bits are applied as input to the parity checker circuit which checks the possibility of error on the data. Since the data is transmitted with even parity, four bits received in the circuit must have an even number of ones. So let us check A is 0, B is 0, C is 0 and P is 0 which means 0 ones again it is a even parity. So parity error check bit is 0. A 0, B 0, C 0, parity 1 right then the parity error check bit becomes 1. So if you proceed with the possible combinations of A, B, C and P a clause will go with 1, 1, 1, 1 and the parity check bit will become 0. If you go with the parity even parity checker the for KMAF simplification we will obtain the even parity checker the is equal to A X R B X R C X R the parity bit. And the logic circuit of even parity checker is as shown in figure. Let's start with odd parity generator and checker. So let us consider a 3 bit data to be transmitted with odd parity bit. The three, point, 3 inputs are A, B, C and P is the output parity bit. The total number of bits must be odd in order to generate the, the odd parity. So let us go with the 3 input values A, B, C. Possible combinations are 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and 
up to 111. So when you consider 0, 0, 0, the number of 1s is 0. If the parity bit is 1, the number of 1s in the 4 bit data will be 1, which is nothing but the hot parity. Next we go with 0, 0, 1. So we have a 1. So if the odd parity bit is 0, the number of 1s will be odd in number. So if you proceed further, you will obtain the truth table as shown in figure. And if you go for a KMAP simplification for 3 bit odd parity generator, we obtain P is equal to AXR BX0 C. And the logic circuit of the odd parity generator is as shown in figure. On the other end, or at the receiving end, we need to check whether the data is transmitted with respect to hot parity. Again, the received message, so A, B, C along with the parity bit and the parity check bit will in, ensure that the number of bits that transmitted is odd in number. So it will start with 0000, 0, 0, 0 and it will end with 1111. So let us consider with 0000, 0, 0, 0, where the parity check becomes a 1 so that the number of 1s becomes odd in number. 0, 0, 0, 0001, so we have a 1, so the parity check bit will become 0. So if you proceed further to the end, 1111, so even number of 1s, if the parity error check bit becomes 1, the number of 1s will be odd in nature. So if you go with KMAP simplification, so we will get the parity checker is equal to a x nor b x nor c x nor p and the logic circuit of the odd parity checker is as shown in figure. Thank you.